because quite often it is uh, a problem to convince local government that's uh, to convince local government that it's important to uh, to do some acts against the invasive alien species. Uh, and I, we think that in Ljubljana uh, we were quite uh, successful in this respect, so that we somehow were able to convince them that it's needed and that they prepared money and so on. So just a few words about Ljubljana. Uh, it's capital of Slovenia, about 300,000 inhabitants, quite a small city in fact. Inner city has about, uh, is covering about 70 square kilometers and the whole municipality 275 square kilometers. Precipitation, let's say, uh, normal, not very continental, not very Atlantic. Uh, elevation about 300 meters above sea level, average temperature 13 degrees centigrade. And uh, about 30 kilometers from the Alps and about 80 kilometers from the Adriatic. So quite diverse uh, impacts from different uh, sites. Flora of Ljubljana, uh, it's recorded, uh, well, about 1,400 vascular plant species have been recorded since 1760 in the area of Ljubljana, but of course all the records are not very precisely located, so it's hard to be sure that it was in today's Ljubljana. Uh, in recent uh, mapping, more than 1,000 species uh, were confirmed and uh, one very well studied area of Ljubljana, this is the Grat Hill area, this is what one third of a square kilometer has more than 500 species recorded recently. So in general our flora is mostly Central European lowland flora with of course some Lyric taxa, which are distributed uh, mostly in the Western Balkan Peninsula. Uh, we can say that in the flora of Ljubljana, threatened taxa are declining very rapidly, uh, but it's very hard to put some more ex exact uh, figures about this because uh, there's, uh, in the previous times, uh, nobody checked uh, populations very precisely. And of course, as everywhere, we have high number of neophytes. So uh, these projects dealing with invasive alien species in municipality of Ljubljana, uh, our cooperation somehow started in two projects uh, about well, less than 10 years ago. These were uh, both uh, financed with some international financial mechanisms, Swiss and Norway funds. Uh, TUIA uh, 1 and TUIA 2 and in the frame of these two projects we already established some communication and some uh, uh, simple analysis of the presence of invasive alien species in Ljubljana area and these two were somehow like icebreakers so uh, we started to convince uh, a municipality and uh, officials there that it's an important issue so subsequently, we had three projects financed now uh, in the last few years, uh, all by municipality of Ljubljana. The first two was a pilot study of ragweed. ragweed. Um, uh, the second one was complete mapping of ragweed presence in Ljubljana. And the third one is complete mapping of flora of Ljubljana, of course, including invasive alien species and, of course, several other activities. So, a uh, few words about these three uh, projects. Ragweed, Ragweed 1, um, this was a pilot study. Uh, the main uh, goal was to, uh, to find uh, the precise uh, methodology for the next uh, year's... Uh ah, yeah. Okay, so uh, description of uh, uh, the pilots in this pilot study first was description of general situation of invasive alien species threat in uh, municipality, not only ragweed but also the others. Then um, we developed the mapping methodology for ragweed and we uh, developed this method uh, using three sampling areas, uh, one square kilometer each. 
And on these results, we produced a plan for the complete mapping of, two, of 200 square kilometers of um, uh, reg width. Of course, with cost estimation uh, for the next year's project. Uh, at the beginning, of course, this was a small project for collaborators, about 10 days field work and much more, uh, let's say, computer work. Uh, report was quite voluminous, uh, quite a precise description of Regwit in all developmental phases, uh, also description of general situation of invasive alien species in the territory of municipality, uh, and of course, as I said, produ production of mapping, mapping method, uh, databasing method, estimation of work needed for the whole municipality and estimation of cost. Uh, we had these three, uh, uh, three uh, pre-selected sampling areas in different parts of Ljubljana, one in the city center, one in eastern part of Ljubljana where there is a junction of highway, railway and uh, around industrial zone, and one in northern part of Ljubljana uh, in suburb, uh, suburban area with highway and farmland. Uh, so we expected quite a different appearance of uh, um, uh, ragweed population in these areas. Uh, in every square kilometers, a square kilometer, we mapped complete network of publicly accessible streets and paths. So in some cases, uh, let's say maybe even 20 kilometers of walking around uh, was needed to do this task. And we recorded the ragweed populations on the maps, one to 5,000. Um, each recorded population uh, was presented separately with coordinate size estimation photo, uh, sorry, for, 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 yeah, uh, description if needed. And in addition to that, all other known ragweed population at that time, this was four years ago, uh, were presented in the map. Here you can see the situation known four years ago. We will compare later with the current situation. Um, based on these results, uh, the map with three levels of needed activity for the mapping of ragweed was produced. And this was already the start of the next, year, next year's project, ragweed 2. Uh, so inventorization went on in the sa with the same methodology, but of course much more uh, uh, co collaborators were needed. More than 20 students were trained for this purpose um, and uh, collaborators were of course checking all the time the quality of work. Uh, and all together we worked in 200, more than 200 square kilometers of the municipality and uh, according to this map from before, we were uh, working on three levels of intensi intensity uh, for the least probable uh, areas, well, the least probable uh, um, uh, ragweed <laughs> quadrants. Uh, we worked for half a day and uh, for the most uh, uh, for, for those with the biggest populations of ragweed for two days. Um, so, uh, altogether, more than 250 days of field work was conducted, uh, and of course, as I said, much more uh, uh, collaborators. Uh, coordination was, a, of course, a bit more complicated because there was a huge area, quite a lot of people, uh, and work had to be done in about six months uh, of one vegetation period. Uh, each mapper was responsible for about 10 uh, square kilometers. Uh, and we were all the time communicated via internet. Uh, we had some depository for all the important files. And uh, all the data were immediately put into the interactive database so everybody could check the situation there. Uh, and also for coordinators, it was important to, to, for the quality control. Uh, so, for example, here are four maps in different periods, two in August, one in September, one in October, how the number of mapped populations 
uh, uh, raised. And at the top, uh, one sample of one of the uh, most uh, rich uh, areas of Ljubljana with ragweed. Uh, of course, we were, uh, we mapped, well, uh, we mapped much uh, more populations than expected. Uh, and the best, so to say, plot had 117 populations. Uh, the smallest populations with, let's say, 10 uh, specimens or less were destroyed on the spot, and the rest uh, were then uh, destroyed by the municipality services. Altogether, 1,900 working hours, uh, 1,414 records, and mostly along the railway and highway. Um, what was important is that public services uh, immediately took the activities for eradication. So in the same month, in the same week, sometimes that uh, the, the uh, population was spotted immediately, public services started this eradication with some bigger uh, populations. Uh, unfortunately, of course, this was done only in public areas. Uh, mapped were all over Ljubljana, but of course in private areas the situation was mu a bit more complicated. Uh, and in the next years they went on with these activities. So, uh, flora of mall. Uh, so, flora of the complete municipality. In fact, uh, first I did what uh, last year that uh, a municipality would like to have mapped all the invasive alien species in Ljubljana. But then we said, for us, it would be a bit boring to map only the invasive alien species, so we pro pro uh, proposed complete flora mapping, and uh, they, they were quite fine with this idea. Um, so uh, we really did this complete flora floristic mapping with, of course, emphasis uh, with, with spe special stress on invasive alien uh, species. We needed uh, again more than 20 field mappers, another group. Uh, with better knowledge of the uh, but we choose a bit smaller area, about 70, uh, well, exactly 70 square kilometers uh, of the central part of the city. Uh, one vegetation period, more than 20 students, um, and uh, results were uh, quite impressive, at least for us. Um, the new field forms were produced for the whole flora uh, and every uh, square kilometer were mapped in uh, this way so that, uh, let's say, ecologically homogeneous polygons were recognized in the field and within these polygons, uh, f uh, complete flora was mapped in three periods of the year, in the spring, summer and uh, autumn. Uh, we expected that we will reach to about 200 species per square kilometer. Uh, at the end, the result was even better. Um, and uh, in, the, in the time of the project, we also communicated and determined some uh, heavy species to, for determination. So there are 10 plus one, so uh, 11 focus species, invasive species, one was, of course, a um, uh, ragweed. Uh, we simply checked the situation from before and found another populations. And other 10 species, which were invasive alien species in the early phases of spread. So uh, the phase uh, where, where it is still possible to get rid of them without uh, big costs. Of course, we couldn't focus on uh, fallopia and robinia and things like that because they are are really all over Ljubljana. Activity was all uh, season. This is the uh, daily records uh, from May to October. Uh, final result, 265 species, 65 species per square kilometers, more than 1,000 1, species recorded and, and, and about uh, 38,000 field records. Um, and of course, there would be uh, th there are some analysis possible to do with this. I will, not, of course, not now go into detail. Uh, this, the top two maps are quite impressive about the complete neophytic flora and about invasive alien flora. We can see that all over the city uh, they are very common. Um, and, of course, this 
of course, again, I will not go into detail. For this focus, uh, 11 species we produced uh, more detailed maps uh, and uh, the precise localities of population were uh, mapped. In addition to that, we had quite a lot of other uh, activities in, with the municipality of Ljubljana guided tours, workshops, and glass on campaign. This is campaign for public awareness about the removing of ambrosia, uh, produced some handbook and, think, and other things. So uh, we can say that we were collaborating quite intensively. So to conclude, uh, probably it is very important to have somebody in the municipality. <laughs> Because if there wouldn't be somebody who would be devoted to this uh, topic, it would be very hard to convince people there. Well, I would say that now at least five people are already ours, uh, but not paid <laughs> by us. Then, very important is to have publication in local of results in local media so that people are really aware what is going on and that these issues are important. And what is important do not avoid media coverage. Sometimes it's boring, of course, but, but it's very important to, to, to spread the knowledge. And one, another important thing, not everything is paid. Uh, of course, there were three paid projects, but all the other activities, or most of the other activities, were simply not paid. But this was part of, let's say, uh, PR campaign <laughs> to become more uh, recognized and uh, to, to enable uh, further work. Uh, of course, some binding legal acts regarding invasive alien species are very helpful. Uh, because in that case, municipality is pressed by the legal acts to do something and we can simply uh, offer a hand to mu municipality. Uh, and if there's no legal act, it's hard. In Slovenia, we have only one legal act for Ambrosia. Uh, and at the end, maybe, in media, they like stories. They don't, li uh, they don't like the boring numbers and graphs and so on. They like stories. Sometimes these stories are maybe somehow overemphasized and so on, but, uh, but people are simply uh, reading stories and uh, are becoming uh, somehow more uh, sensitive to, to, to the issues of it, it boring invasive alien species through some, some stories which are of this kind, like presented here. So uh, that was it. Uh, sorry for <laughs> a few minutes. Thank you. And I can allow one question if you have. Thank you for a very interesting presentation. I have a question like, do you have uh, any publication or maybe published report when I can find your designed uh, methodology. methodology for the mapping? Yes, but in Slovenian, would it be fine with you? <laughs> 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 okay, but I, I, I can explain this uh, in English. I, I will okay. send your report, you will later on uh, okay. give me the <laughs> contact details. <laughs> Thank you again.